I have started from nothing, absolutely mm-hmm. nothing. It's not even zero. It's like minus uh, because I was doing something else. There was a momentum to become an engineer, and suddenly I discover this thing that I really like, and I start doing it. I started off as being this way shy and introvert kid because I was the youngest in my family, very pampered. I didn't know how to deal with people when I used to step out. So any sort of acknowledgement meant a lot. Money was always a differentiator in my life. So the money and uh, any sort of acknowledgement were two big differentiators. And I was told that if you get these two, you will be successful. And I cleared all these engineering entrance exams, and I was studying, and I was just aware of what was happening. And I felt that okay, this is not something. This is not giving me that high because it's boring. I was told that choose one thing, and they asked me, my parents or my everybody who loved me, they said that you need to be an engineer. I have four sisters, so they were asked to be doctors. I was asked to be an engineer, and if we were good at what we were doing, we were expected to sit for civil services, and that was the thing. After clearing such tough engineering entrance exams, when I went to that college, I found that there were no girls. and i was like i felt cheated i was like okay this is not this is not what it is because they told me that work hard be an engineer and marry a, a nice girl and that's what will happen but there were no girls in my college somebody told me that why don't you join dance school and i went there but something very interesting happened while i was performing for the first time i recognized this want of me that i really want to be or probably i have been wanting to be understood and that was the starting point shama gasp me to do theater somebody said that okay you can't actually make somebody an actor but you can train an actor so i was like what if i'm not an actor so i went to barry john and uh, i was there for 3 4 months when we got a certificate and i got a b grade and everybody else everybody else got c so that's when i got to realize okay this is something that i really can do also because you know i could hide behind all these interesting characters i could say things that i really want to say but at the same time i can tell people that oh this is not me, me. <laughs> this is the character i was like okay this is something that i really want to do even if i don't get paid for it i'll still do it so just being aware of the process and just telling myself that if i can be in top 1% in something which i probably don't like now that i've identified something that i do like and i don't care what people think of me it doesn't feel like hard work i want to take risks there's nothing else but to perseverance is the thing because that's the only thing that i want to do so all these things were at place and identifying that i was like okay this is something i like i can very well be in top 1% of this and just being clear about my awareness it dropped up there are two things to it number one was how did i convince myself into dropping out of a very prestigious engineering college into doing something which is way way dicey and number 2 what i found while doing it so number 1 was that if i could be in top 1% in something that i don't like i can very well be in top 1% which i absolutely like and i promised myself a fancy house fancy car so i was like okay this is what you'll get and drop out and just 6 to 8 months away from getting myself a degree i dropped out because i thought that is it will be a better state to be in if i don't have a plan b because i won't be thinking that if nothing happens i'll go back to this i perform better when i don't know that there is plan b